you were saying that you would be open to, to doing that with 3000 down, right? Is that correct? Yeah, I had somebody wanting to look at it Saturday, a cash buyer, but she was looking at other places. But I have not been there because I'm traveling. I'm in the Northwest right now. Okay. So it's not like I was able to show it yet. What I said was I'd be willing to do that. I do have a tenant in there that is moving out. I actually had to evict her because she didn't pay, which I expected that to happen regardless. But okay. she won't be out for another week. So it wouldn't be available to actually move in until after oh, that's that. that's fine. So what I was saying was I can lease it out for 13 and a half a month. All right. So is that... I do go lower on it, so that's why I said if you down, yeah. it'd be basically the same as what I would be just getting a tenant in there for, but I would take it off the price, okay. but that way I know somebody's actually serious and going to stay in there that wants to buy it, because I don't want it. I just want out from under it. Okay. I got divorced, and so I'm trying to stay in Texas. Okay. I'm serious. And it's just a lot to deal right. with. So I said if you can come up with the okay. 3000 down, mm -hmm. sign the contract, then I would okay. do 1000 a month, and then what I would do for that 1000 a month is I could sit there and take 800 off the total asking price a month. Okay, that sounds good. What was the asking price? Isn't it like 90 or something like that? I don't have it in front of me. No, actually, I just went down on it, to be quite honest. So I was asking 79995 All right. Well, I'll tell you what. And I'm sorry, what's your name? My name is Janet. Okay. Janet, can you text me over your... Actually, here, do you, do you have a second right now? We can maybe go over the agreement that I have real quick. And see, I mean, do you have one oh, yeah. that you like or? Yeah. yeah, go ahead. All right, here, give me a second here. I'm just traveling, so that's why I'm cutting in and out, just so okay. you know. All right. I, I apologize. Yeah, no worries. Hang on. And this is my personal line here. So. Okay, so basically what it would be, it would be the date today, the tenant buyer. So my son and I are looking for this, for this property as an investment. That Our name will be there. Like, what is your name on the deed or whatever? Here's my question to you. Are you looking to cash out in 24, 36 months or yes. continue leasing it until you pay for it? Well, we could do either or. So what are you, what are you looking to do? Okay. Yeah, as long, as long as it is being paid for, it's fine okay. with me. And as long as I don't have to worry about going back and dealing with tenants and things like that. So if we have a contract written up, and it's in your hands from there. Either way works for me. It doesn't really matter one way or the other. Because if you want to leave it for five years and then you default in five years, then that's on you, not on me. Right. You know? Right. Like, do you like to do it for, so, for longer? It, like I said, it doesn't matter to me. We would just have to have okay. a contract. If you are able and you want to cash out, that is fine. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out I would want it in. Right. Right. And that way it covers you and it covers me. You know what we're looking at. If something changes, you know, and say you want to cash out, but you're not able to, we can always change it. But yeah. I would want it where we both sign for it, so that way you're agreeable, I'm agreeable, and there's just right. no question. Exactly. Yeah, this way. is a pretty straightforward contract. So, okay, so we would go seventy nine nine sales price. Okay, and then then we're gonna get a thousand a month. And I said I would take the eight a month and apply it towards okay. the purchase price. So the other 200 would basically be me putting it aside. That sounds good. So, okay. And then we'll just, we'll do it out. How about 36 months right now? And then 3,000 down with the contract and okay. the keys that be turned good. over to you. Okay, great. I can write this whole thing up. And then do you want it? What's your email address so I can send it over to you? Send it to my business one, please. If I could send this over in about a half hour, give you a call back and we just go through it real quick. And if everything looks good, what would happen? That works. What would happen next after I did that? We would be able to sign it today. Do you think we could sign the contract, and then it's on the whenever you are ready to pay three thousand. Now, what I would do is transfer over keys to you, which wherever you are. But what I would do at that point is, if you signed the lease, you were able to come down to down payment. I could overnight you keys for the unit. Okay. And I could have you basically take over, depending if you wanted to wait until the tenant's out or just take over the process of making sure at that point, if you have keys, I can transfer over to you guys to where you can be in charge to make sure she is out, place is clean okay. from there. I mean, I do own a professional cleaning business there, so that's just kind of otherwise I can send you the key, but you won't have access to it, to it until next week when she's out. Yeah, we'd probably and be out about... Clean. That depends on what you want right. to do. Okay. All right, so I'll put this together. I'll give you a call back in about a half hour, and then we'll just go through it, and hopefully my phone will be better by that time. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. I'll talk All to right. you in 30 minutes. All right, bye. Okay, thank you. All right. Come on, baby. Good job, bro. Good night. One hour, two yeah. contracts. That's what I like.